The LT4 is a great engine from GM, but made even better with our all new TVS2650 supercharger kit. GM's Gen 5 LT4 engine was the natural successor to the extremely popular previous generation factory supercharged LSA, which powered the Z01 and CTSV and multiple final gen HSV models in Australia. First released in the 2015 Z06 Corvette, the LT4 also powered the Cadillac CTSV launched in 2016 and the 6th Gen Z01 the following year in 2017. The 6.2-litre direct-injection LT4 is factory Eaton supercharged with the smaller TVS 1740 supercharger compared to the LSA that featured the TVS 1900. Interestingly, both the LT4 and LSA in standard form make around 9 psi of peak boost with the LT4 spinning the 1740 rotors to 20,000 RPM to move the similar volume of air. With the growth of our Harrop USA facility and the release of the 6th Gen Z01 in right-hand drive by HSV in Australia, we went to work engineering a supercharger upgrade for the Performance Limited Factory LT4 system. Our new generation of LT superchargers included a clean sheet approach focusing on superior packaging with both airflow and thermal efficiency. The talented engineering team leveraged over 20 years of experience using Eaton supercharger technology for OEM programs, along with our passion for aftermarket performance to develop superior supercharging solutions. Our LT4 supercharger system features Eaton TVS 2650 technology just like the limited run factory LT5 engine found on the C7 ZR1 Corvette. At 2.65 litres is over 50% larger in displacement than the factory LT4 1.7 litre rotor group. Effectively managing inlet air temperatures is a high priority for performance durability and our TVS 2650 LT4 system features upgraded twin dual pass intercooler cores integrated into the manifold assembly that are two and a half times larger than the factory LT4 cores. To further enhance the factory intercooler system, we include a billet reservoir and associated high flow 22 mm molded hoses for greater cooling efficiency. Like our new LSA H2650i offering, we've incorporated a dedicated billet input drive assembly to provide increased durability and offer versatility on drive offsets. With these, we offer options for both the wet sump Camaro LT4 and dry sump Corvette alignments. The throttle body adapter is designed to position the throttle in the same factory location with a large direct opening feeding the rotors. Following extensive testing of prototype assemblies, with all CAD and CAM completed and signed off, we manufacture our patterns for the sand casting process in-house. Castings are poured, fettled and heat treated to T6 before being powder coated and supplied back to the machine shop for processing. Our Mazak twin pallet horizontal machining centers and our manufacturing team are kept busy getting to work on the milling before moving to the assembly team with quality inspection at each step. The final production step before kitting is the supercharger dyne cell every unit to run through a data log test cycle and individually serial numbered to ensure it meets specifications. Installation is made easy as a bolt-on solution with no cutting or grinding required. Now let's take a look at some of the performance comparisons, firstly on this near new Z01. Baseline numbers we measured 575 horsepower and 615 foot-pounds of torque at 9.6 psi. Now, with our TVS 2650 and an 85mm top pulley, we see peak boost at 11.8 psi and power increases to 648 horsepower and 648 foot pounds of torque with 18% lower inlet air temps compared to stock for more reliable and consistent performance. 
This performance level was near the limit of the factory direct injection fuel system. But importantly, there is always more performance potential on the table with supporting fueling mods. Much like the LSA, the LT4 is now also becoming a very popular resto mod engine swap option for car builders. With GM offering it as a crate engine with harness and controller pack, just like one very cool Pro Touring Gen 2 Camaro. We've got an exciting first for the channel with a live link with Harrop USA and good friend Dave from Forge Line Motorsports. So welcome Dave. Hi Heath, good to see you. Today we're talking about LT4s and one of my favourite Pro Touring cars is Dave's F and Camaro. So tell us a little bit about this Pro Touring masterpiece. Well, it's a 1970 Camaro. And uh, when we were building the car, or when we had the idea to build the car, I actually had a 2015 Z06 that was sharp gray, same color as the car. And we initially were gonna put an LS7 in the car, but we were at the PRI show and GM announced that they were gonna do the LT4 as a crate motor. And so I immediately changed my mind and uh, I think we got one of the very first LT4 crate motors ordered up at PRI show. Fantastic, and the engine's the Corvette version, which is the dry sump, which makes it even better for, for getting out on track, which you love to do. Correct, we did the dry sump on purpose, right, because it was built as an autocross track car, absolutely. So you naturally love the C7 Z06 with the, with the LT4, but how long was the build journey with, with the FN Camaro? <laughs> the, the, the build journey was, uh, yeah, it's one of the reasons uh, it's named the FN Camaro. Um, it actually took about three years and we had uh, one headache, I swear everything that we, everything we tried to accomplish on the car had a roadblock of some kind and, uh, and my wife, uh, every time she had to stroke another check or asked about the car and heard another problem, she actually it, uh, named it, well she named it something else but we, we shortened it to F and Camaro. Made it a little bit uh, public friendly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So with the LT4, it's become increasingly popular. Like you mentioned, the LS7, we've got a number of builds that we've done with LS7s, like the earlier Z06 Corvette, the C6. The LT4, that a lot of car builders, customers of Forge Line, are now using that platform. Was there any major hurdles with integrating the LT4 in the second gen Camaro? Well, yeah, absolutely. That was a lot of the problem. Nobody had done it yet. Um, in, you know, all of the accessories and all that type of stuff didn't mount up and trying to get the air conditioning to work. Power steering was a huge problem. Um, so yeah, I, you know, we did the LT4 and I'm glad we did, but it kind of immediately regretted it as it was really held up the initial build of the car. Yeah, I think the results have been fantastic though. And you had the standard LT4 for a number of years, but more recently we've, we've added the power adder, the Harrop TVS 2650. Because one of the known issues with the LT4 that we've discussed is the intercoolers are, are at the limit. So the Harrop assembly that's on the car now, the intercooler cores are actually two and a half times the size. So when you're out tracking the car or autocrossing, keeping the temperatures in check is a really important feature. So Brian's done a, a fantastic job on, on the calibration and you've been enjoying the car? Absolutely, the car stays cool no matter what I do to it, whether it's on track or the autocross course or, 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 or just driving around town, it's always cool. And the power is, I would have to say, if I had to say anything, it was probably too much power. The torque, and the torque is what you notice anything else. It's, it's a, just a torque monster. Yeah, I think the car had been tuned previously. So when we baselined it, it was right around that 600, just over 600 wheel horsepower on the Dynacom rolling road. With our supercharger, we've actually reduced the boost level um, because the supercharger is, is quite a bit bigger than the 1740 that the LT4 has from factory. So it's now a 2650, which is 2.65 litres. And those larger intercooler cores, so we've got a lower boost level, uh, lower IATs, and importantly, we're, we're, making, we're making more power, but a lot more torque. So I think, what did we see? 700, just over 700 horsepower wheel, and um, the torque number is, is just bigger everywhere through the curve. Seven, yeah, seven, 765 torque or something. Yeah, it's fantastic. The car looks sensational, and there's a lot of custom parts throughout the build, bumper to bumper but we spoke about doing something a little bit different with the supercharger lid, didn't we? Yes, the car was already so customized, uh, you know, a, a, a lid just seemed to make sense and, uh, and incorporating the F and Camaro logo into the lid 
uh, really, it's really stunning. It looks fantastic. We collaborated on the design and came up with something that's really unique and that's been fully machined out of billet and then we've actually you organised to have the, uh, the colour specially finished, right? Yeah, the, the special shark grey, so the, the billet lid matches the shark grey exterior colour and then uh, we machined off the face and, uh, and brushed the effing Camaro so the design on the top of the face is, uh, stands out from, from the shark grey. And one of the great things about where we're based in the Midwest is there's so many car events on any given weekend. There's, it's definitely a showstopper. Like there's a, any number of events that the car's been to in its current form and it gets a lot of attention, right? It gets tons of attention. I mean, all day long, the amount of people that take pictures of it, it's been in multiple magazine articles. It's a, you know, every gas station, restaurant, wherever I take the car, somebody wants to talk to me about it. But yeah, very, very popular car for sure. So I think something that's interesting is how does a second gen Camaro that's got a completely modern approach to ride and handling and powertrain, how does that compare to the driving experience on the C7 that you had previously? Uh, the Camaro the Camaro is a little bit more raw, I think. It's a lot it's a lot more fun. You know, the the newer cars can obviously be luxurious and all that type of stuff, but this has all the creature comforts as well. It has Apple CarPlay and Vintage Air is fantastic and uh, I guess my the biggest difference is it's just a little bit more raw. You get that that muscle car feeling that you don't get with the with the Corvette. So fortunately, you get to get to a lot of events that are associated with Forge Line and and get on track. Yeah, we do. I mean, that's why we built the car, and uh, and that's the best part about the car. It's so much fun on the track. Love to have you come over and and uh, and take it a spin. Yeah, I can't wait to get back to the states and and get some seat time. So we'll we'll talk again soon. Sounds great. Our perfect power adder for the LT4 is available to order now from our dealers globally. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to Harrop TV for all of our content as released.